What if the surface of the moon you've been staring at isn't as solid as it appears? It's a tantalizing question, isn't it? The universe with its myriad celestial bodies is a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. One such mystery revolves around Saturn's moon, Mimas. The smallest and closest of Saturn's moons, Mimas is a fascinating celestial body, bearing an uncanny resemblance to the Death Star from Star Wars, thanks to its enormous Herschel crater. But don't be fooled by its seemingly barren, icy surface. This moon is more than just a pretty face in our night sky. Behind its cold, cratered exterior, Mimas holds secrets that continue to intrigue scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Secrets that are reshaping our understanding of the cosmos and challenging our perceptions of what constitutes a habitable world. But beneath its icy and cratered surface, Mimas has more secrets to reveal. Last year, scientists from the Southwest Research Institute in Colorado made a startling discovery. They were analyzing data from the Cassini spacecraft, a robotic explorer that had been sent to study Saturn and its many moons. Among these moons, one caught their attention. Mimas, the smallest and closest to Saturn. It was Mimas's surface that piqued their interest. The Cassini data showed fluctuations, undulations that were mysterious and unexpected. This wasn't normal behavior for a moon thought to be a solid block of ice and rock. The scientists were puzzled. What could cause such fluctuations on the surface of a celestial body? They dove into calculations, crunched the numbers, and came up with a hypothesis that challenged all previous beliefs about Mimas. The only explanation for these fluctuations, they concluded, was the presence of an inner ocean. Yes, you heard it right, an ocean. Imagine beneath the icy surface of this small moon a vast body of water sloshing around, creating a liquid layer between the ice crust and the core. This could be the only reason why the surface of Mimas was moving the way it was. It was a revelation that turned our understanding of Mimas on its head. Previously, the scientific community had believed Mimas to be a solid block, a frozen world with no signs of geological activity. But these mysterious fluctuations told a different story. They suggested that Mimas wasn't just a solid block, but a dynamic world with its own inner ocean. So, if an ocean was causing the surface of Mimas to fluctuate, what was keeping it from freezing? The scientists theorized that the satellite might be generating enough heat to keep the ocean liquid. This heat, they suggested, could be coming from the core of Mimas, radiating outwards and preventing the ocean from freezing over. The discovery of these mysterious fluctuations on Mimas not only changed our understanding of this small moon, but also expanded our definition of a potentially habitable world in our solar system and beyond. Something was allowing the surface to move, hinting at a hidden layer beneath. A colossal collision left its mark on Mimas, forming the iconic Herschel Crater. This monumental event, forever etched into the moon's icy surface, has been a focal point of intrigue and scientific investigation. The Herschel Crater, a testament to the moon's tumultuous past, is a stark reminder that our universe is a place of dynamic change, with celestial bodies bearing the scars of cosmic encounters. Recent computer simulations have brought forth new revelations about this massive impact. They suggest that the collision could have caused the thinning of the ice crust from the inside, leading to the formation of a subglacial ocean. Imagine the sheer force of such an impact, powerful enough to reshape the internal structure of a moon and potentially give birth to an ocean hidden beneath the surface. According to these simulations, during the time of the impact, the ice shell of Mimas should have been at least 55 kilometers thick. That's a considerable crust, even for a moon. Yet. Our current observations and models of internal heating limit the thickness of this icy shell to only 30 kilometers. This discrepancy between past and present thickness is a fascinating puzzle for scientists to piece together. So, what does this mean for our understanding of Mimas? Simply put, the modern ocean beneath the icy surface of Mimas must have appeared after the colossal collision. It's a testament to the transformative power of such cosmic events capable of reshaping celestial bodies and possibly even creating new environments for life. In the grand scheme of things, it's a powerful reminder of the dynamic nature of our universe. Even seemingly frozen and unchanging moons like Mimas have a history of cosmic upheaval and transformation hidden beneath their icy surfaces. This implied that the modern ocean must have appeared after the collision. The story of Mimas continues to unfold, hinting at the hidden complexities of our universe waiting for us to uncover them.
Beneath the icy crust of Mimas, an ocean is spinning. This revelation has truly changed our understanding of this small moon of Saturn. For the longest time, we believed Mimas to be a solid block, a frozen monolith in the vast expanse of space. But it appears we were deceived by the moon's heavily cratered surface. The discovery of an inner ocean hidden beneath layers of ice is not just another fascinating fact about Mimas. It's a profound revelation that expands our definition of a potentially habitable world in our solar system, and perhaps even beyond. We've always looked at moons and planets with geological activity, with visible signs of water or heat, as potential hosts for life. But Mimas, with its static and frozen surface, has flipped our assumptions on their head. This discovery tells us that life, or at least the conditions necessary for it, might be found in the most unexpected of places. It opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for astrobiologists and astronomers. It prompts us to look again at celestial bodies we might have dismissed in our search for extraterrestrial life. The idea of an ocean spinning beneath the icy shell of Mimas also brings forth questions about the moon's past and its future. Could the colossal collision that formed the Herschel crater have triggered the formation of this ocean? Could this hidden ocean be a source of heat, keeping Mimas active in spite of its frozen surface? Could there be other moons or planets with similar hidden oceans? These are questions that will keep scientists busy for years to come, and each answer will undoubtedly bring with it more questions, more mysteries to solve. That's the beauty of space exploration. It's a never-ending journey of discovery, of learning, of unraveling the secrets of the universe. The surface of Mimas was deceiving us all along, and beneath its icy exterior it harbors a spinning ocean, a testament to the intriguing mysteries of our universe. The universe, it seems, never ceases to surprise us. Mimas, Saturn's smallest and closest moon, once thought to be a solid block, is now believed to hold a mysterious inner ocean beneath its ice-covered surface. This revelation, brought to light by the Cassini spacecraft's data and subsequent calculations, challenges our previous understanding and broadens our definition of potentially habitable worlds. The surface of Mimas, heavily cratered and marked by the massive Herschel crater, a remnant of a colossal collision, has been deceiving us all along. Beneath that frozen facade, an ocean spins, separated from the surface by a surprisingly thick layer of ice. This discovery reminds us that the universe in all its vastness remains a treasure trove of secrets, waiting to be unearthed. As we continue to explore and understand, we're reminded that the universe always has more secrets to unveil.